Welcome everyone back to a video that Clark and I are both very excited to make because this isn't our typical day. This is something a little bit special, actually a lot special because Lionel reached out to us after seeing one of our videos that we made a long time ago that just blew up like crazy on our Lionel Thomas train. They reached out to me and they said, would you like us to send you the Lionel Polar Express? And I was like, yeah. So uh, they did that and it's here. And we're going to be getting into it today and playing with it and maybe even reviewing it. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a lot of sense of it. So they sent this to me for free. They're not paying me to make this video or anything. This is all us and the type of video we make regardless. But the back of this, Clarkman is most interested in this, these track formations because he's a track builder at heart. You guys can see when you look around this room, this is tracks. This is Track City here. Also Lego Minecraft. We've got a lot of hobbies, but we're going to open this up and... Get into this Bluetooth as well, so you can control this from your phone. And it only takes three AAA batteries I saw on the front, which is kind of incredible considering I think the Big Thomas one was either C or D cell batteries, and we had to leave the house to go get them. So that was something. This is gonna be a lot easier. To get into this, looks like we can just open the flap here. So you can actually save this box if you wanna put this back in here. And we're gonna take that, and this is all gonna slide out. Wow. Holy moly, that thing is heavy. Feel how heavy that is. Holy, why can such a little train be so heavy? It's serious, dude. It makes fluid. Compare that to Trackmaster, it's a little nuts. Instructions in here as well. And I imagine this is gonna be... <gasps> the coaches. Wow. It has coaches. It definitely does have coaches. I think this thing might be bigger than your room, Clark. Oh my gosh, feel this. Let me see it. It's like metal. Holy. It's metal is crazy. That's insane. Hey, show them your last Lionel train. This is very different from what we had previously. Here you this go. This one is much lighter. That is what we had before. Let's put the two of them side by side. Yeah, a little bit different. So here's all your tracks put. And the tender's in here too. The heavy tender. Go ahead and grab that out of there. I'll get the tracks out. We got tracks. Tracks for days. You guys couldn't even see it. Connected. There's a level of quality that we have never experienced in trains before. There you guys go. And there's another piece in here too. It's the same thing. It's like Christmas, Clark, man. This is the power cord. Giant bell. <gasps> Hang on my tree. <laughs> you got a Christmas ornament? <laughs> Here's the controller unboxed. People. Yeah, there's little people that come with this as well. Eee! And looks like they articulate as well. Hey, that's pretty cool. Huh, he Does he move it. around? He moves his knees, he moves his like forward like that, and he bends his knee, and his head turns. Really cool. Mm -hmm. And his arms move too. Wow. The paperwork that came with this. Congratulations on your new ready to run set. You guys probably don't care about this stuff though. You want to see us running this. So I'm going to go through the instruction manual here and get this thing set up, and we're going to show you how awesome this is. These guys know it. <laughs> yeah! Just put our first piece together and these things, it's tough to get them together. It's mm. a little bit more challenging than what a five-year-old can handle, I think. Let's see what he does here. They start, but then to finish them, like to get, actually put them in there is pretty tough. Let me make sure that that's all good to go, Clark, man. There you go. See how they snap like that? Mm -hmm. There it is. And that's all the track. That's all the track. That's what it makes right there. Mm -hmm. That's all the track makes. Okay, get your trains loaded up on there. I'm going to go down and get some triple A's. This takes three triple A's to run this. And I think that's it. One thing I don't like so far, I can tell you this piece right here, mm -hmm. this has fallen off like three or four times and it's, it just doesn't want to go on there very well. I've tried a variety of different things. As quality as this thing seems, this to me is super janky. As you can see, it just falls right off like this. It's kind of just junk, but this feels good. It's like the quality goes from really good to kind of crap in the back. We got the whole train set up here. Oh no. Clarky is trying to put these guys on the sides, so they're kind of standing there watching. And uh, we got a couple over here as well, right there. And now we're gonna plug this in and try it out. Go ahead and plug it in, Clark, man. Can you do that? Okay. What? The lights just came on. 
right here on the side. Mm -hmm. On. Wow. Go ahead. Oh, Dude. You're going to run this just like the Lego ones right here. Not too fast, though. Oh, boy. That's really cool. This guy, he didn't, uh, he didn't survive it. We need to put some smoke fluid in here, I think. Shine a little light on the situation down here. So you can see down there, it says smoke on or off and then chuff on or off. We want both on and it seems like there's smoke coming out, but we do have this smoke liquid that came with this and or smoke fluid. And I think I'm gonna put some of that in there just so we know for sure that it's working properly. Here we go. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but the drops are coming out. Then it cool drops. It takes a little bit of time. There's the smoke. Can you see it? Uh -huh. Oh, you're making the smoke come out, Clark. See if we can pull this off. Got a passenger on top of the tender. Let's see how long he stays on for. Oh god! That was it. As we're sitting here playing with this, I'm trying to think: Do these track mastered wooden trains still have a place in our life? And I think the answer is yes, because of the the track building possibilities. But this is like a really nice quality train. This could be the start of a whole new collection for us. It could get a little dangerous. Hope you guys enjoyed coming with us today on this adventure in Lionel Trains. Thank you to Lionel for sending this over to us and allowing us this opportunity to play with this. Hope you guys have a glorious rest of your day, and we will see you in the next train video. Don't leave yet. I almost forgot to do something very important. Obviously you guys know that we got this Polar Express train from Lionel and they were nice enough to send this to us. The thing that I forgot to mention is they actually sent us another one too. We have a second Lionel Polar Express train and they told me that I could do whatever I wanted to do with this. Is that the train moving again? Uh huh. Oh geez. What I've decided to do with this train since we have two and we obviously don't need it we're gonna donate this. We're gonna donate this train to Toys for Tots. I know you guys are watching this video after Christmas because we record these ahead of time, but we're gonna donate this right before the deadline for Toys for Tots. And we're gonna give this to a special kid in need out there, hopefully. And uh, hopefully they enjoy it as much as, as we've enjoyed the other one, because that is just a, I don't know, it's just a really nice gesture and I wanna pay it forward for what Lionel did for us. I feel like the king of the North Pole out here running this thing. That's so cool, man. I love you. You can make it go super fast. Like this. You wouldn't. Ah!